okay so in this lecture we will learn how to shade the regions formed by lines and also common regions so let us take one example shade the region formed by the inequality x plus y less than 2 x plus y less than 2 So what will I do now? I will first draw the line. So let me write draw the line x plus y equal to 2. Okay. So for the time being, don't pay attention at this thing. So I will say first I will draw the line x plus y equal to 2. Remember this is our original question we don't forget the original question this is our target and now i'm trying to draw the line x plus y equal to 2 so i will take two values of x take x equal to suppose i take x equal to 1 and let me take x equal to 2 so if i take x equal to 1 what is line x plus y equal to 2 so x is 1 so 1 plus y is equal to 2. This 1 has a plus sign. So when I shift it on that side, it will become 2 minus 1. And y will remain alone here. So I will have y equal to 1. When I will put x equal to here, when I have x plus y equal to 2, I have 2 plus y is equal to 2. So this 2 will go on that side and get minus 2 so i'll get y equal to 0 so this means that the pair x comma y is how much what is x x is 1 how much is y at that time how much is y y is also 1 first write x then write y Notice x comma y in this case here x is 2 at that time y is how much y is equal to 0 so I got the 4 I got the 2 points now let us go in the graph with x axis plotting the points say 1 to 3 minimum number of points I did then I will draw 1 comma 1 where is 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 is here this dark point is 1 1 next point is 2 0 now 2 0 is a point any point of the form something comma 0 always is on which axis it is on x axis so 2 0 is on x axis okay and i will join the two points by the straight line So this straight line is x plus y equal to 2 okay but my original question 
what was our original question x plus y less than 2 right so we have only completed this task x plus y equal to 2 now we'll look at this particular line and this line is uh, doing what this line is may if i omit the x-axis and y-axis don't look at x-axis y-axis this line is dividing the entire plane into two parts look at this part now this is the green part on one side take another part is this we take this part the blue part so this line divides it into what this line divides it divides my xy plane into how many parts into two parts don't look at x and x axis and y axis now you'll exactly see the two parts now in these two parts you note down where is zero zero okay there is zero zero so zero zero is here right this point zero comma zero so now don't copy anything just pay attention zero zero lies in green region correct and uh, what is x there x is how much x is zero what is y y is zero right and put this x zero and x equal to zero and y equal to zero in equation in the question what was the question the question was x plus y less than two okay so x equal to zero put x equal to zero put y equal to zero Put y equal to zero less than two so this means zero plus zero is zero less than two zero less than two correct hai or wrong hai? what is this is zero less than two yes it is correct so if it is correct means green region is correct because we have started with green region right so green region is correct so therefore erase the blue region it is the blue part so this goes away and therefore my correct answer that we were looking for the original question that we were looking for this is x-axis let me draw it again so this green region is nothing but what x plus y let me write it in green ink x plus y less than 2 okay suppose you get here suppose instead of getting correct if you get wrong suppose then in that case the green region would not have been correct and in that case the green region was wrong and then i will erase the green part and the answer will be the blue part okay let me take a question of that type so it will be more clear to all of you so let's take one question now shade the region x plus y greater than let's take 4 okay x plus y greater than 4 so i will first do what i will first draw the line x plus y equal to 4 so let me take two values of x suppose i take x equal to 1 and if i take x equal to 2 what will happen 1 plus y equal to 4 
and therefore y will be equal to 4 minus 1 and therefore y equal to 3. Here if I put x plus y equal to 4, what is x plus y equal to 4 means? Means I will get 2 plus y equal to 4 and y is equal to 4 minus 2. So y is equal to 2. So what is the pair over here in the set? The pair x comma y is 1 comma 3 and the pair on the right hand side is x comma y is equal to 2 comma 2. And when I now go in the graph, Let me take good draw correct x axis y axis. Let me take four units one, two, three, four. Here zero. Take one, two, three, four. So first point is one, comma three, one, comma three is here. Second is 2 comma 2, 2 comma 2 is here. And I will join the two points by the straight line. So when you join them by the straight line, when you take the correct measurements, you will actually see that this line actually passes like this. Like this okay so this line is x plus y equal to 4 okay again i will say omit the x axis y axis for the time being in your thing and let us shade the two line two regions formed the two regions formed is green region is this and the blue region is suppose this right and i will do my Rough calculation. What is my rough calculation? Take zero zero. Okay. Means x is zero and y is zero. So this is zero zero. Okay. Zero zero is in which region? Is in green region. And write the equation. What is the over? Write the question. What is the question? The question is x plus y greater than 4. So write the question x plus y greater than 4. Put x equal to 0, y equal to 0. So this means 0, x is 0, y is also 0, greater than 4. This means 0 plus 0 is 0. So 0 is greater than 4. Is this 0 great? Is 0 greater than 4? 0 greater than 4 is no. 0 is not greater than 4. Means it is wrong means it is wrong means what means green region is wrong green region is wrong so jo wrong hai usko erase kar do so erase green region so blue region is correct this means that blue region is the correct answer see this is all rough work okay in examination if you are asked to shade this particular region okay what will be checked have you drawn the line correctly and have you shaded the correct region okay no it there will be no justification by, from your side that why have you shaded this part and why have you not shaded this part this is all your internal rough work so that we will not be looking after that if your answer is correct for the the region is correct the thing is done so this is your original x-axis so this is the region what is the name of this region x plus y greater than 4 okay so let us take one question now question is shade the region shade the region x plus 3y greater than or equal to 6 
OK, so solution. So here I will first draw the line. Draw the line X plus 3Y equal to 6. Right. Now you can take any values of uh, either you can take value of X or you can take value of Y. So I will here suitably I will see that X is alone. So if X if some variable is alone, avoid taking the value for that variable means take value of Y. So take Y equal to 0 and suppose take Y equal to 1. Okay, why I'm choosing the values of Y here because X is alone only X is there. So it is good in that case. So X plus 3Y equal to 6 means X plus 3 into 0. 6 means X plus 3 into 0 is 0 is equal to 6. So means X is equal to 6. In the second case, X plus 3Y is equal to 6 means X plus 3 into 1. Y is how much? Y is 1. Is equal to 6. So 3 into 1 is 3. So X plus 3 is equal to 6. This added 3 will go on that side and will get subtracted. So X is equal to 6 minus 3. So X is equal to 3. So what is the pair I'm getting now? X comma Y. X is 6. Y is 0. In this case, X is 3. And Y is how much? Y is 1. So we will go in the picture now and shade the draw the line sorry so x axis y axis on x axis i need 6 and 3 so i will have to go to 6 Okay, and on Y axis, I have to go till only zero and one. So only this much is enough. Let us shade the first point. Now, what is the first point? The first point is six comma zero. So six comma zero, any point of the form star comma zero is always on X axis. So six comma zero is a point on X axis. So this is six comma zero, okay? This point. And uh, the next is what? 3 comma 1. 3 comma 1 is here. 3 1 because x is 3 and y is how much? y is 1. Okay. So 3 comma 1 is it. So I will draw these uh, two points now. When you actually draw the two points, uh, when you take a scale, you when you take your proper measurements. Okay, you will notice that this line passes through the given correct these points. Okay, so I will draw that now. So here it is like this. So it is going like this. And it will exactly pass through this two. When you take the actual correct measurements in your using scale you will see it like this okay so my line is not looking good so this line is what is this x plus uh, x plus 3y equal to 6 okay if i omit the x axis y axis for the time being then i see that this line makes the region into two parts green region and the other region is i am calling blue region correct and which is the simplest point you have to take i have told you go for the point zero zero take zero zero which point uh, in which region is zero 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 is here Right, so zero zero is in green region, is in the green region. So put so x is zero and y is zero, and put in 
the question what was the question the question was x plus 3y greater than 6 correct is a question correct greater than or equal to 6 sorry greater than or equal to so this means that 0 plus 3 into 0 because x is 0 and y is also 0 greater than or equal to 6 so this means 0 plus 3 into 0 is also 0 is greater than or equal to 6 so ask this question to yourself what is 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 is 0 so 0 greater than 6 so ask yourself 0 is greater than or equal to 6 correct is this is this correct line is this line correct this line is correct because 0 is great there are two options either this or this if anyone is correct then the answer is correct so yes 0 is greater than 6 correct it is not equal to 6 but it is greater than 6 so the above line is true means means the above thing is correct i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry 0 is greater than or equal to 6 so we know that 0 is not greater than 6 i'm sorry I'm extremely sorry so we know that 0 is not greater than 6 0 is smaller than 6 so this is wrong is 0 equal to 6 0 is also not equal to 6 so this is also wrong I mean this entire line is what wrong and therefore this means that and I will draw the x-axis, y-axis again. And who is this blue colored region? The blue colored region is x plus 3y greater than or equal to 6. Now when I am writing greater than or equal to 6, it means that this shading must touch the line in the last lectures i have told you when should your shading touch the line if it is greater than or equal to there is if it is only greater than then you will not touch the line but if it is greater than or equal to then your shading must touch that line it should not be away like this it should touch your line So this is the answer for this particular question. The region. X minus Y greater than one. Let us see what is the answer. So we will first draw the line. x minus y equal to 1 okay here i will take two sample values i will take the two sample values of y let me take y equal to 1 and let me take y equal to 2 in of these two points so if i put x minus y equal to 1 x minus y equal to 1 you can take here anything you can even take x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 but you should be proper in your calculations otherwise you will not get the correct answers okay be careful in your calculations this means x minus 1 is equal to 1 x minus 2 is equal to 1 here i am putting y equal to 1 here i am putting y equal to 2 so this minus 1 will go on that side and become plus 1. This is x is equal to 1 plus 1. So x is equal to 2. 
this minus 2 will also go on that side and get added to that side first 1 and then plus 2 who remains in the left hand side only x so x is equal to 3 so what is the pair x comma y x is 2 y is 1 2 comma 1 the second pair is x comma y x is 3 y is 2 this is the second pair okay let us draw the two points now first point is let me write 0 1 2 Red points here also. This is y axis, this is x axis. For first point is 2 comma 1. Where is 2 comma 1? 2 on the x axis, 1 on the y axis. Now I will not write the points now. I will just draw a dark dot. Okay. It is understood that it is 2 comma 1. Next point is 3 comma 2. 3 comma 2 is here. X axis 3 and Y axis is 2. Correct. So this point is 3 comma 2 and I will join the two points. Let me for instance write your minus one also for example. So if we join this two points, if you actually take a scale and all things and do it correctly you will observe that this line is passing in this way okay this is the line x minus y equal to 1 Now, what is the original question? So, the original question was x minus y greater than 1. Okay, now my rough calculation starts. So, look at this picture. This picture has two different parts. One part is the green part. This part. Okay. And one part is the blue part. Suppose I'm saying it is this part. Okay. One of them is correct and one of them is wrong. Look, right. So take, uh, go to 0, 0. Where is 0, 0? 0, 0 is in the green part. Okay. 0, 0. 0, 0 is in which part? Green. If I get correct, I will shade green part. If I get wrong, I will omit green part. So x minus y greater than 1. Is it correct? x minus y greater than 1 is enough. Yeah, x minus y greater than 1. Put 0, 0. 0 minus 0 greater than 1. Means 0 greater than 1. Is this correct? Is 0 greater than 1? This is no. Wrong means green is wrong green is the wrong answer means blue is correct now blue is correct if i will omit my green shading which is actually not correct so this shaded region see only you have to do this much rough work right this, this only this much rough work you have to do right and that is also not very difficult 
and this is let me show my x axis y axis again. So what is this region x minus y greater than 1. OK, suppose it is suppose in the question I will just modify the question now. Suppose the question has x minus y greater than equal to 1. Everything will be same. Only what is going to change, you know, when it becomes equal to greater than or equal to this shading will only touch the line. To touch the line. Earlier it was greater than so I was very far away from the line. I was not touching the line and now you have to you can even touch the line. This question what we will do is we will take two inequalities together. So consider the inequalities x plus 2y equal to 2 and sorry x plus 2y less than 2 and 2x plus y less than 2 with x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 shade the common region solution now we will first look at this part x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 so we know that so we know that x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 is nothing but first quadrant so we know x greater than 0 y greater than 0 is the first quadrant so it is basically if i look at this particular diagram it is basically this first quadrant is this Okay, so we will have interest only in the first quadrant. We will not be interested in the second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. Okay, because X is greater than zero and Y is greater than zero means the first quadrant. So this is your first quadrant. So, le so let us keep this calculation aside and let us now go to the other inequalities now what is the first inequality the first inequality is x plus 2y equal to sorry less than 2 so consider x plus 2y less than 2 now how i will draw this we know that if I want to draw this, I will first take consider draw this line x plus 2y equal to 2. Then you can take any values of x and y. So if I take x equal to 0, okay, what will I get if I take x equal to 0? If I take x equal to 0, I will get x plus 2y equal to 2 will become what? 0 plus 2y is 2 and therefore 2y is 2 and therefore y is 1. So here I will get the pair 
x comma y will become x is 0 and y is 1 so 0 comma 1 correct if I take uh, I can take any values of x also I can take any value of y also so if I take for simplicity if I take y equal to 0 what will I get this equation x plus 2y equal to 2 what will happen to that it will become x plus 2 into 0 plus is equal to 2 therefore x plus 0 is equal to 2 and therefore x will become 2 so what pair are you getting the pair you are getting is x comma y is equal to x is how much 2 and y is how much y is 0 so I am getting 0 1 and 2 comma 0 now let me draw this line okay let me draw this line after some time let me leave some space here and let me draw it here This is x axis and this is the y axis. What is the first point? The first point is 0, 1. 0, 1 means it lies on the y axis. It is here. And the second point is. 2 comma 0 means it lies on the x-axis okay and I will draw this line Okay, and what is the equation of this line? The equation of this line is x plus 2y equal to 2. So I will label that line. Okay, and again a question comes, what is x plus 2y less than 2? Who is this? So x plus 2y, so take 0, 0. Here you have 0, 0. So 0, 0. So this line has divided my entire plane into two parts the two parts are is one is the green part and the other part is the blue part okay which is correct now that we have to just look and how will i look i will put zero 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 is in which part zero zero is in the green part so put zero x plus two into zero less than two so this means zero plus zero is less than two and therefore 0 is less than 2 and is this correct yes this is correct means green is correct so i will keep the green part and i will erase the blue part okay so this is the answer for the first line now let me let me just redraw this green part more carefully So I'm shading the green part again, but a little bit carefully. Okay, let us now go to the next line, which is uh, what is the next particular inequality in the question? The next inequality is 2x plus y less than so let us draw that now so 2x plus y equal to 2 first let us look at equal to 2 and draw the line when you draw that line i will take suppose i take x equal to 0 and the other part i will take suppose y equal to 0 
what will happen if I take x equal to 0? This 2 into 0 plus y equal to 2 will give me 0 plus y is 2. So y is 2. So what is the pair x comma y? The pair x comma y is x is how much? x is 0 and y is 2, 0, 2. What about this? So 2x plus 0, y is 0 equal to 2. So 2x is equal to 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2 upon 2 means x is equal to 1. So what is the pair that I'm getting? x comma y. X, x is how much? 1. y is how much? 0. So I'm getting 1 comma 0. Let us draw these two points now in the plane. First is 0 comma 2. Where is 0 comma 2? 0 comma 2 is on the y axis. So here it is. This point is 0 comma 2. And what is the second point? The second point is 1 comma 0. 1 comma 0 means on the x axis at 1 unit. It is this is 1 comma 0. Let us join these two points by a straight line. Okay, and this particular line has equation 2x plus y equal to 2. Okay, now because of this line, we have two regions. Let me call those two regions is one region is this, which is the yellow part. And what is the other region? I'm going to call it suppose I take a pink color. It's the left part of the, because of that line, okay? Okay. So now this pink now it has become a very dangerous diagram so zero is in which region zero is in the pink region so let me write it see the rough calculation zero which line we are supposed to look at 2x which inequality 2x plus y less than 2 okay so zero is in zero zero is in the pink region So 2 into 0 plus 0 is less than 2, means 0 is less than 2, and this is correct. Means the pink region is correct. And therefore, I will delete the yellow lines. So yellow lines I will delete. Okay, and do you see the common region now, all of you? The common region is uh, basically the common region is something different. Let me. Okay, this is the common region. Okay, this particular part that you see, which it has both type of shadings. It has green as well as pink shadings. Okay, but so. See, here again I'm showing you the common region. This is the precise common region, okay? I'm shading those line, blue lines over there. I'm making the picture dirty, but it is okay. Okay, this is the common region that I've shaded in the dark, in the light blue lines. But we were supposed to look in the initial part as we discussed, we were supposed to look only in the what? We were supposed to look only in the first quadrant so whatever shading has gone in the second third and fourth quadrant we will delete that shading we don't need that shading because we're supposed to only look for the 
फर्स्ट क्वार्रेंट सो फर्स्ट क्वार्रेंट में कॉमन रीजन कहाँ है सो वी विल नाउ स्टार्ट डिलीटिंग द अनकॉमन रीजन and which is not in the first quadrant this is all that i'm deleting is now currently in the fourth quadrant and the third quadrant see i'm slowly deleting them second quadrant now i've started deleting we will look only the shading which is going in the first quadrant this is also not common this was my original line also got deleted by mistake yes so let me erase even this so you see that so let me for the time being this erase this so you want what you observe is that this is the pink region okay and this green region here also should be deleted again my line got deleted yes so the crux of the story is this particular piece that you see the piece which is of this shape this particular piece that you see this piece will only become the common region i will now delete all the shadings and put a different kind of shading there let me take a green shading so this becomes your common region it is in the first quadrant also okay it is satisfying both the other shadings right it was this also and this also dono ke niche jane wala region chahiye but it should be in the first quadrant